Hey, how you doing? You been using Unify? I bet you have. How about those edge routers, huh? So what I want to talk to you uh, about tonight is you can see I've got Unify here on the screen. And I don't have the whole lab up right now. I've got some other devices and I'm trying to make some changes and organize things. And um, I'm going to get some designs up on the wall back there. Something neat, maybe some retro... Uh, video game stuff, maybe my logo, maybe who knows. But what I want to talk about tonight is inside of Unify, now I am on 5.2.9, um, I want to talk about the devices and the clients tabs. And I want to ask you, how many of you know, raise your hands, put it in the comments, give me a thumbs up, shout at the screen, how many of you knew that you could customize the way this looks and what I'm talking about is see this little cog right here if you click on that you can customize the columns that you see here now this is the default view what you're seeing here this is default I have not customized it but we can do that so let's take a look at some of the things we can do so by default it's got device name IP address status, model, version, uptime. So let's say for some reason we need quick access to the MAC address of our clients or of our uh, devices. We click the MAC address and look, now a column has showed up. It has MAC address. We can sort by that. We can go back sort by the device name. Then we could, let's say that we don't care about, um, let's say that we don't care about the um, device name. We can get rid of that. Let's say that we need to see how many clients are connected. So we just want to get this boom, this brief overview. So now you can see that we have the clients column. And you can sort by that. All of these things are, are selectable. So we can put the name back, get rid of the MAC address, get rid of the IP address, get rid of the status, we'll keep the model, we can get rid of the version, the uptime, the clients, and then what we could do is we could put on, for example, um, the radio 2G and the radio 5G. So what you're seeing on the left hand side is the current channel for the radio for the 2 gigahertz, and then you're seeing the power output. And then for radio 5G, that's 5 gigahertz, you're seeing the channel and the, um, the output. So all of these columns are selectable. And then down at the bottom, there's this little reset columns too. And there's default. And so if we click that, everything that was there before comes back. Then there is a, let's see, which one is this? move this a little bit gateway switches view they've got the AP overview view which is kind of nice the AP performance overview the AP config really nice and then all columns and um, that is really super duper busy and I have to scroll all the way over to get to that so I'm gonna go ahead and reset this back to default and so that is on the devices tab so if we go over to clients you can see all the clients that I've got we've got that same little conf configuration gear icon and we can click customize columns now we don't have as many options but we can certainly do some customizing. So we can uncheck the name and select the host name. Now you can look and see that you know some of these are the friendly names, some of those are you know the real host names. So we'll undo host name, we could look at MAC address, we could get rid of IP address, um, we could get rid of the, the network, we could get rid of the AP port, we could go to channel. Okay, if it's wireless, what channel is it on? You know, then we can go to the mode. So you can customize your view. Now this one, interestingly enough, uh, doesn't have the return to 
return to default. So, and that is on the, the clients tab. But, you know, get in there, play around with it. You can customize this, you know, get some views that you want um, set up so you've got the maximum amount of information you're looking for. You don't have to go all over looking for it. So, um, that's what I wanted to show you today. There is going to be some more Unify stuff. If there's something specific that you want to see me do on a USG, um, a, a Unify switch or Unify AP, put it down in the comments. Um, the next video will be an edge router video, something that is very easy to do and should be done and can be done across all of the edge router products so that's what's coming here in the next day or two but if you like the video please give me a thumbs up please leave comments please uh, share and subscribe and we'll see you at the next video